where we have technology that does almost everything for us, some millennials still seem to struggle when it comes to using a washing machine. <laughs> Capital FM DJ Roman Kemp admitted he had no idea what the three individual compartments of a washing machine are used for. Well, meanwhile, West Brom striker Daryl Dyke revealed he's been using dishwasher tablets to wash his clothes. This is what I've been using. I have been washing my clothes with dishwasher soap since I've been here. I have lived in England for eight months. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> How do I even do that? Typical well, bag, really. <laughs> it is honestly my favourite bit of the story, that video. <laughs> do millennials lack essential skills? Are they just too caught up in this modern world? Joining us to discuss this is comedian Freddie Quinn, who says that they know more because they use tech to access all the information. And journalist Nina Mishkoff, who said that millennials are completely hopeless and have no life skills. Good morning to both of you. Um, Freddie, we've got to start with you because um, we're hearing that your car might have had a little bit of a problem and that's why you're not here in the studio with us. Surely yeah, you're able to I fix woke... that, aren't you? <laughs> I woke up this morning to a flat tyre, which uh -oh. is why I'm not here, unfortunately. But thank you for having me on, by the way. I think I am the oldest looking technical millennial you could possibly find. <laughs> I do look like I own a white van, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, it was three o'clock in the morning. It's pitch black. I've changed the tire before once in my life and it took me about three quarters of an hour and I just wasn't able to make it here on time, unfortunately, but I'm fully aware of the irony of the situation. But do you think in general then, you know, there is this accusation that uh, millennials just don't have life skills or the same kind of life skills to be able to get through things. There seems to be a bit of a lack of detail when it comes to what bit of the washing machine does what or, what, you know, what powder you have to put in to wash your clothes. I think it's not necessarily a case of millennials lacking life skills. I think it's a case of, like, young millionaires lacking life skills. Like, of course, Roman Kemp and a footballer don't outwork household appliances. <laughs> but if you ask, like, the average, you know, person living in a house, I'm sure they'd know. And if not, they'd just Google it because that's how our generation consumes knowledge nowadays. Mm -hmm. Knowledge isn't handed down like we're in some sort of remote South American tribe in the Amazon, you know. It's, it's just found online. And anything that I need to know, I can find with a quick Google. And okay. I don't see what's wrong with that. All right, Nina, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you know, because uh, you can just look it up online these well, days. Well, the thing is, before we go any further, I'm glad that Freddie sees the irony, because I don't know why you need me here. My job is done. Yeah. He's, he's proved it. Because, first of all, how come he... You know, OK, it was dark. Oh, boo-hoo, grow up. Fix your tyre. <laughs> If you, you know, that, that, that's the whole point of knowing how to fix a tyre. If you get stuck on your own as a woman, of course I can fix a tyre. I know how to do it. In case, in case I get stuck in a dark road, I need to be able to get... You need a plan B. You need to have something. But the first, so he's proved two points. One is he doesn't have the life skill enough. And two, he doesn't have the gumption or the motivation. He knew he had to be here today, <laughs> but no... Actually, good point. Think... Actually, wh yeah, why, didn't you, why didn't you Google... Google how to change a tyre in, in the, the dark. dark. <laughs> Nina, not only do I not think you'd be able to change a tyre in the dark, I don't think you'd be able to turn the torch on on your phone to see. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, that is that is so rude. Of course I can turn the torch on on my phone, but I happen to have another torch in the car. And a warning triangle and all the stuff you need because, because you need to know these things because, you know, you don't have a plan B. Your plan B is sitting in some hotel. You should be sitting here. Don't you feel ashamed of yourself that you didn't have the gumption or the energy or the motivation to get here, not to let people down? Not, not to take ready. To, no, no, you should take responsibility for your actions. That's the problem with... Look, you know... Mark, you know, I mean, this is going to shock you, but not everyone lives in London. I live four hours away. So, so what? at three o'clock in the morning, what would you have suggested that I'd done? Uh, change the tyre and drive in. And why, why sure, did you break I down at three? I would have been late, unfortunately. No, oh, you'd have been here. You'd have been so here. So talk me through it, then. You, let's you, let's you turn this into an educational made... setting. I, I just want to say, first of all, that... Uh, Apart from anything, Ronan Kemp is a, is a wonderful guy and I'm, I'm absolutely delighted that he's had the sense of humour and bless him for it. <laughs> but, you know, it's, in a way, it's not his fault. I blame his parents. His parents have been <gasps> Martin and Shirley. Martin 
Shirley. Martin, oh, Martin no. and Shirley, no, no, they have not brought their there. boy up well enough to be able to clean his own clothes. You, you know, just blame the legends of 80s pop. There are, of course they're legends of 80s pop. So what? <laughs> they, they should, they're parents and they should have brought him up to look after himself. Mm. That's the whole point of it. That, you know, the thing is, you've got to be able to take care of yourself beyond sort of getting dressed and being able to Google. And half <laughs> the time, half the time, you know, People, they seem to only do things to put it on Instagram. Or, you know, they spend half their lives like that, pouting. Right, I wonder what your fingers yeah, were doing then. Sorry. Yeah, Dina, like... Dina, if we go back to the picture then of the of the washing machine and its compartments, yeah. you know, because there are those people who are getting in touch going, hold on, they don't know which bit goes in which anyway. Do you want to just explain to people well, what goes where? Conditioner goes in one drawer. Washing powder goes in another, and if you have a softener, you put it in the middle, I think. I, I, but it's, different machines uh, have different conglomerations of... Freddie? You know. Your pre-wash would actually go in, wouldn't it? It'd be pre-wash in the first drawer, and then in the middle drawer, because that's the smallest, that would probably be your, um, uh, your fabric softener, and then the biggest drawer at the end would probably be for your main detergent. However, what I would do, just to double-check, is I'd go on my phone and Google it. And I think that's what 90% of people would do. I, I, Here's an interesting thing, I would thing, use though, a washing Nina, pod and instead. I wanted to but, ask but, but, you this. Look, it, um, it, so, hold on. the thing is, Nina, is I'm sure that you know how to change a tyre because you probably checked before you came on her, which is very smart of you. However, what I would like to say is that I think that millennials have just a different knowledge set. It's not that we lack knowledge, we just have knowledge about different things. But it's not knowledge. So what knowledge. I would say, Nina, but Freddie, it's is not can knowledge. you talk me it's through somebody else's how knowledge. you can... And Googling you it is not your knowledge. how you would and if you lost your phone, you'd a be mobile stuck. hotspot on you your phone. You are so, so attached talk me through to your how phone. How you set up your phone to be you a mobile cope hotspot. Cope and if every millennial wrong. knows this, by the way. Every millennial right now will be screaming at the telly, telling you what to do. How do you if set up a mobile awake, hotspot on your phone? A lot of them aren't phone? awake yet, and they couldn't be bothered, actually. So, how, how would you set up a mobile hotspot on your phone? I don't care to set up a mobile hotspot. That's not necessary for me, for my life as it is now. I can perfectly well use every bit of tech that do I want know... to. Do you Freddie, know what you're going to have to tell us now. You know, you, 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 know you, 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 lost, you lost the battle when you didn't make it in here and you're just drowning now. Uh, well, listen, Do I'll tell you what. Do you know what a mobile hotspot is? Of course I know what a mobile <laughs> hotspot is. How dare you be so rude? I mean, that's a really ageist thing to say. Come on. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that's... For heaven's sake. No, come on, listen. You know, we are, we are joking. The one other thing I wanted to say was that that both um, both of your two uh, objects were were men, and it's could, it could be a male thing not to oh, be able to Nina, watch. Nina, don't oh, you're bringing up what have you done, you done that, now? That, that, no, that's it comes true. to the end of the debate, that's and you threw that into the no, pile. That's, that's true. That right and, that, and for that, I blame. Shirley and Martin. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> They're taking responsibility for all of it. Well, listen, it's been great to talk to you both this morning. Very entertaining. Thank you both very much, Nina and Freddie. I'll just leave you, actually, we've, we've had a lot of people getting in touch with this this morning. One thought from Keith, who says, how many millennials does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> One to order it from Amazon. Two to produce an Instagram story about how light bulbs are problematic. One to TikTok the hilarious attempt to unscrew the old bulb and one to call... I, I know somebody, Kelly, if you're watching, I, I know that she bought a lamp from a, a well-known cheap um, furniture place and when the light bulb went, she went and just bought a new lamp. No. With a light bulb in. Yeah, no. <laughs> we changed the light bulb. Yes, and I'm sure she's not alone in that. People get by in their own uh, ways. I know, I know a millennial who, when the light in the fridge went out, had to have a new fridge. Oh, that's taking it to a whole new level, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> oh, my God.